to the session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that draw the graph of y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power x for minus 2 is less than equal to x is less than equal to 2. Now, we will start with the solution. Now it is given y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power x. And it is also given that minus 2 is less than equal to x, less than equal to 2. Therefore, for different values of x, we will get different values of y. Now, for the different values of x and y, we will draw a table. Now, y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power x. So, for x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power minus 2, which is equal to 3 raised to power minus 1 whole raised to power minus 2, which is equal to 3 raised to power minus 1 into minus 2, which is equal to 3 raised to power 2, which is equal to 9. So, for x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 9. Now, for x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power minus 1, which is equal to 3 raised to power 1, which is equal to 3. So, for x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 3. Now, for x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power 0, and anything raised to power 0 is equal to 1. So, for x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Now, for x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 by 3 raised to power 1, which is equal to 1 by 3, which is equal to 0 0.3. Therefore, for x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0 0.3. Now, for x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power 2, which is equal to 1 by 9, which is equal to 0 0.1. Therefore, for x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0 0.1. And now, we will plot all these points on the graph. First of all, we will plot the point minus 2, 9 on the graph. So, this is the point minus 2, 9 on the graph. Now, we will plot the point minus 1, 3 on the graph. Now, this is the point minus 1, 3 on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all the points on the graph. So, we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now, by joining all these points, we are getting the graph of y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power x. Now, from the graph, we can see that as x tends to minus infinity, y tends to infinity. And on this side, we can observe that as x tends to infinity, y tends to 0. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.